Dresden. Today, we're in Dresden, one of the most architecturally stunning cities in Germany. We're going to take a tour of the old town, a cruise down the river Elbe, and explore the food scene. Let's go check it out. This is called Fürstenzug. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Fürstenzug. But look at this beautiful Baroque colonnade. And you can see all the details. This is like being on a film set right here. Perfect place for a photo shoot. Apple mentioned gummies. This is the little green and red man for the crosswalk. This right here is the jackpot of Baroque buildings in Dresden. Now a visit to Dresden is not complete without checking out the beer gardens and the excellent cuisine. Check out the link in the description below for the restaurant. We are eating at Shunna Garden. They have kind of a mix of Indian food in here. And behind my is the game. Look at those palm trees, damn! Cheers. I just got this beer called I don't know how to pronounce it. El Bang Rot. Okay. What'd you get, Mike? Rada Burger Pills. Oh yeah, we just ordered. We got like the doll with the curry. And Mike, what'd you get? Something delicious. Dumplings. With vegetables. And I got a salad with, I don't know what, but we will find mm. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying this food. It's really good and it's made right here, farm to table. Literally farm to table. So this is raspberry sorbet with supposedly wasabi. Mike, check it out. Okay. Oh, that's a oh, it's interesting. Unique taste. Wow. It's like herbal. It's refreshing. There's like basil. It actually mm -hmm. tastes more like basil. Yeah. I think she meant to say basil, not. Now you can't go to Dresden without learning about the history, and we do just that at the Military History Museum. The museum exhibits give you a thought-provoking historical journey through Germany's war history. Okay, so this is the German War Museum. It's kind of more of an anti-war museum. It's right here. It's occupying the old 19th century arsenal, and then there's an extension by the United States architect Daniel Liebeskin there as well. So it talks about the history of war from many different perspectives with a focus on the destruction caused by war. Um, at the top of the museum, there's a view of Dresden. But before you see that view of Dresden, you see the destruction that happened with the bombing of Dresden. You also see the destruction that was wrought by the Nazi and fascist forces during World War II, uh, including on the Netherlands and uh, Poland as well. 
Experience. What was your take on the experience? Just how war leads to destruction. In fact, Dresden was about 70% destroyed during World War II and impeccably rebuilt to spec. It is truly inspiring to see the city's rebirth. This is the local potato soup. One of the cuisines of the region. When in Germany. We're having a biking event here in Dresden. Beautiful place to bike. This is so beautiful. About 90% of the old city center was destroyed during World War II and it was all just carefully rebuilt almost as if nothing happened. We are getting on the boat tour of Dresden that goes down the Elbe. So this is the boat that we're taking and they have a deck and a restaurant. We're on the boat tour, touring down the Elbe, beautiful city of spires and Baroque architecture. We just boarded the boat and we got drinks. Mike, what kind of drink did you get? Aperol Spritz. Nice, cheers. Berlin Kuchen. Is this a local dish? Yeah, it's a plum cake. Plum cake. Okay, let's try. Very good. good. Delicious. The cake is very spongy and then it's also fruity. by the riverbanks, and there's so many bridges. Going down the Elbe. This is where you can get the German Riesling. If you like these river views as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button down below. Dresden lost its UNESCO heritage status in 2020 or 2009. Oh Everybody is camping and riding bikes. Oh, that dog is swimming. Hope that you enjoyed this tour of Dresden. It truly is one of the most magnificent cities in Germany. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because coming up next, Berlin.